tractor progress. So engine wasn't starting, uh, lost compression, uh, and in fact, after that first vi video where I ran the tractor, it started and then it ran and then it ran worse and worse and worse and worse until it had no compression. So I've um, done the valves and then I tried to start it again and I noticed that the ignition was way too advanced and it was just, it wouldn't run um, if I forced it with the drill starter. It would, you know, puff out smoke, but it was really way too advanced. And you would think that you could just move the flywheel, but in fact, the magnet is on the other side of this little wall here. There's a wheel around here. That's the, um, this axle that you can see here will be the camshaft. Uh, and it also has the magnet on it. Hey folks, how you doing? So, was tuning my engine and I let the muffler get too hot. Now that is a soft soldered connection there. A soft soldered connection to the muffler, so you will pop that off. I've noticed though that um, I love the sound uh, without the muffler. So I think we need something more befitting a kind of single cylinder tractor. I found some scrap pieces. You can see one is um, bullet casing. And this little bit of brass fits into there pretty well. So if we can use that as an extension. Okay, so can we make... Uh, I mean, how good would that look? That would look really good, and I think that would sound really good. So that's that's what we're aiming for. So you can go really slow. You know what? I can, um, Quite happily start this thing by spinning it by hand now, even with my left hand. Two thousand years later. Great big heavy flywheel lets you run it that fast if you want to. Apart from the small socket, I've also made a long socket by soldering a couple of sockets together after drilling them out a bit. That's my spark plug socket. So here's the spark plug. Here's the long socket I created for it, and I'm using a copper um, washer instead of the plastic washer that comes with this. Hello YouTube, you've caught me in the middle of tweaking this motor. Now I've just um, tidied up the, um, the big end uh, bearing a bit, but I noticed that this um, splugy hole here could be improved. So I'm going to use... I've been looking at some copper that I've got out of old laptops. I think this one is perfect. That little hole in the center of the screen is going to be uh, increased somewhat. 
and this is going to go on the back of it and be a breather hole uh, coming not all the way up to where it is. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go, but this this is pretty much the perfect shape and size. Uh, just going to go there. So I'll tidy that up, cut the bits off it that I want cut off it. And we'll have a great big breather hole that lets my engine run reliably at low um, at low revs. Okay, so here we are. That's the little engine from the tractor. Um, I've been making this um, a much bigger breather hole, which was is also able to fill oil through. Uh, and we're going to put some uh, sealer around the edge of this to stop the oil leaking out of there. I've already put a, um, a little O-ring and a washer on there to stop uh, oil from there, but we want it around the outside as well. Sealer's on there and a bit of oil. We're going to reassemble that now. Okay, uh, on this side, um, there's actually room for a little rubber ring in there. So I'm going to put that ring in there and put a little bit of um, that, sealer, that sealer around here. Rubber ring, sealer. That will help. Okay. So put a rubber ring over there because there is room for it and um, some sealer to stop that weeping. Uh, as we reassemble, I've put something over the top of the ignition part. And what I've used is this. What I've used is this bit of um, copper foil that I got from the inside of a laptop. Uh, that's over there and down the sides. It's also up the back a little bit. But any oil that does get out of this engine is not going to go into the ignition. Reassembly is almost finished. I've got the spark plug out and I can feel that even with all those uh, rubber rings, one in this side on the outside of the engine and two under the plate on this side, it's still turning really easily. You can see the new location of the breather and oil filler just there it's that copper that copper thing there okay and we've also um, used a little bit of sealer in every screw that could leak oil uh, and we've got this um, copper plastic backed copper sheet over the length of the um, ignition and going a bit over there as well. You can see it up there. Just a bit of a splash guard. So let's crank it up. So that's with quite a lot of oil inside it. What do you think, Puss?
Tiggy. Sweetie. 